Good evening. My name is Laura Packer. I'm a local storyteller. I'm glad that some of you are here to listen, and I'm glad that some of you are here not to listen. If you like what I tell, you can find out more about me with your espresso at www.laurapacker.com. Doria, could you sort of wiggle at me at five minutes, please? Somebody will let me know in five minutes. When I was a little girl, my father would say to me, come here, let's tell stories. And I would crawl up onto the bed and I would lie with him and I would watch the light change as he told me story after story after story after school, as afternoon stretched into evening and my mother would come home and she would say, are you two at it again? And we would say, shh, because my father told the scariest stories in the world. There was the story that he told about the time that UFOs came and aliens invaded and nobody knew it except for one little boy. And there were the stories that he told about the adventures of Mimi and Lara, who of course were both me in my heroic disguise, and their adventures as they went out to find black gold all around the world. Being a little girl, I thought that black gold was some beautiful, mysterious metal. And it was only when I grew up that I found out that he was talking about oil. And I told him then that he was terribly politically incorrect. And he said, I didn't care then, did you? And he was right, because it was magic. It was absolutely magic. And there was one story, one story, that my father would start to tell me over and over again and then stop. And then he would start and then he would stop and he would say it was too frightening because it was true. It was the story about the mirror tree. There's not time to tell you the story now so I will only tell you about the tree and what it might have been and you can decide the rest. You don't walk too near the mirror tree in bare feet. Oh no, no matter how big and beautiful that tree is with its thick trunk and its branches that reach up to the sky and no matter how much you see the shimmer and glimmer buried in the green, you don't walk near it with bare feet because if you do, your feet will get cut and bleed because that tree is surrounded by shards of glass everywhere shards of glass because you see the tree is hung with mirrors on thin threads and thick strings and red yarn and green yarn and blue threads and strands of every color hold pieces of mirrors some in frames some just raw pieces of glass and when the wind blows they clatter against each other and at first it sounds like the most marvelous wind chime in the whole world until they clash one against the other and shards sprinkle down on the ground and get buried in the glass. But if you were to walk up to the mirror tree wearing good thick soled boots and listen to that grind of glass underneath your feet and you look down at some of those mirrors, there's no telling what might be in the reflections. Oh, you'll see yourself reflected hundreds of times, thousands of times in all those little pieces of mirror the way it is when you look into a broken piece of glass but you might see a movement behind you in one of those shards that's not in the others. Or you might see the face of someone that you miss looking back at you with a wistful expression. And if you were to reach down and touch one of those pieces of glass hanging on the ground, it might feel just like glass. It might cut your finger or it might ripple when your finger leaves it. Or when you pick it up or pull at it, it might stretch like taffy end to end, your features becoming contorted. And who knows what would happen to you here and now. No one knows who hangs those mirrors on the tree. But I do know this, that if something happens to you where your heart is broken into a thousand pieces, if you take a mirror late at night and you tell your story into it and you creep your way out to that tree, careful not to cut your feet and you hang the mirror from it and you let the glass tinkle 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 maybe the mirror itself can take that story away and contain it and your heart begin might begin to knit, knit back together the way the glass never can thank you